Hi, my name is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Okay, you got me. I'm not Kathy Quinn, but I'm taking Kathy's place this week. My name is Mark Garretts, and I'm a National Floriani Educator. And what we're going to talk about today is text on a path. And I'm not sure if we've ever done this as a blog before. But we're going to do it tonight because I've learned a few tricks that I know that you've not seen before. So to review our various text modes, you get to text up here and you click the T and you have a choice of regular text, text on a circle, vertical text, or text on a path. And that's what we're going to do tonight, text on a path. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to come down here into my design window and you can see that my cursor has a little A by it. And normally when I click you get the words my text. But when you're doing text on a path, instead you're going to get a window that asks you to select a starting path. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select path 08. And uh, instead of putting in my text, it puts in an A. Now in the spirit of Kathy being here, we're going to put in her name. So we're going to put in K-A-T-H-I. And I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And now I've got Kathy on that text line. And if you're familiar with the way we do text, we have these little orange boxes, which lets you select a character and move it around. And I've got my blue kerning controls, which lets me slide things around. Over here off the screen, you can't see it right now, but there's actually a little control to change the height. And this is my width control over here and my rotate control over here. And I can change the alignment of where this text is on the path. And you can see it came into the center here because our default alignment is center. And I can change it to the left by clicking left. And I can click change it to the right by clicking right and clicking apply. And you'll see it goes over to the right. And I'm going to put it back in the center and click apply. And I have some other options too. I've got path alignment here. So I can have it above the line, which is the way it is now. I can center it on the line. Let me show you that. There we go. And I can put it below the line. So you can see it below the line. And if I want to, I can actually reflect it so that the text is upside down. Let me show you what that looks like. So that's reflected. I'm going to go back to the default, which is above. Because the trick I want to show you now is something that we uh, just learned how to do, or I just learned how to do. So I want to share it with you. And that is that sometimes you want to be able to be able to slide this text around on the path. And there's no real obvious way to do that except to move it all the way over to the left, all the way over to the right, or have it be in the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these blue kerning diamonds to fake the text out us in a sense and be able to move it anywhere we want. In order to do that, we have to do two things. We have to select right alignment. So you're going to come over here and select right alignment. And to the text at the end, we are going to put in an extra space. So I've got my cursor flashing at the end of Kathy here. I'm going to put in an extra space and I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And when I do that, it's going to come all the way over here to the right, but it's going to have an extra space over here. And now what's appeared is I've got this little kerning diamond in here that I didn't have before because this was at the end of the word and the kerning diamonds go between the characters. So there was no between here. But now that there's a blank here, a space, there's a between, but nothing is going to stitch out over here. So now what we can do if we want to slide this along the path is we can grab this end blue kerning diamond here, click it, and now we can drag Kathy anywhere we want along this path. I can make her all the way over to the beginning. I can even drag her way off. And I can even drag her so that that end space isn't there. But if I was going to do that, I would just right align it. But the point is I can move this anywhere I like along the path. And so that's the little trick that I learned. And before we leave this, let me just remind you that if you don't like this path, you can right click on this and you can say edit baseline. And when you do that, you're going to get all the nodes, anchors or points, depending on what you want to call them, to allow you to modify the shape of this line. So if I wanted to modify 
this point, I wanted it to be up higher. I could click it and I could drag it up higher and I'd have that. If I wanted to smooth this out, I could grab the handle on this point and drag it so I've smoothed it out a bit. I can change what the points are. And then if I get a new shape that I like, I can once again go back to my normal text select mode here and I can right click on it and I can say export line and when I do that let me just go ahead and click it it's going to ask me for a name for it and it's going to put it in the directory where my paths are so if I next start up the software or I select a new text on a path when I do that my new path line that I've just created will be here in the selections. So that is some tricks with text on a path and we hope you have fun with this and come back next week for another tip.